Richard with ev for You Custom Conversions. And welcome to part two of inspecting and installing the adapter coupler. Now, in the last video, we talked about you know, some of the things that you need to check to make sure are gonna fit. And so, you remember we had um, some indexing pins that weren't necessary, so we went ahead and removed those. There were two of them. There's the one that we do need. Of course, we've kept that. We inspected uh, to make sure the holes would line up correctly. We inspected to see that our input shaft on the transmission lined up with the center of this hole. We checked to make sure that the pilot bushing or bearing, the, that it fit properly, so forth. The one thing that uh, was the biggest issue with this was the, <clears throat> the ID of the coupler was three thousandths too small. So we had to take it to a machine shop and have it uh, uh, turn to the proper dimension. Nothing like buying something and then having to redo it. So anyway, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to install the adapter plate onto the motor and then we're going to install the flywheel and we're going to measure that magic number. So not to waste time on video me bolting things up, I'm going to do that and we'll be right back. As we progress, we're going to take measurements. One of the measurements we want to take is the distance from here to here. We also, in the last video, we took the measurement from here, the face of the adapter, to the end of the motor shaft. And the reason we do that is if, if we're going to go look at the, the transmission, but the input shaft on the transmission goes beyond the bell housing. So it's going to protrude past this point, past here. And I know, because I've already measured it, that it goes in three quarters of an inch. So you have to make sure that you have three quarters of an inch depth in here before that motor, or the uh, uh, transmission input shaft and the motor shaft meet. Now this was back, if you, if you look at the previous video, the distance between here basically the bell housing adapter junction that was back the motor shaft was recessed back uh, seven eighths of an inch the, the transmission input shaft protrudes this way three quarters of an inch so six eighths versus seven eighths so there's an eighth of an inch clearance between the two that's good I know people have done damage because they're trying to draw the motor and transmission together and the shafts are hitting. And they, you can't see that, of course. They run aware of that and then break things. So you want to measure things before you start bolting them together. Okay? So that's important. The other thing, of course, is that magic number. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to bolt the flywheel onto our coupler and uh, then we'll be able to check that magic number. Also in the last video, remember we measured where this was going to fall and, uh, and that the back side of the flywheel was going to clear these bolt heads. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and mount this, see if our measurements were correct and we do clear. And, uh, and check that magic number. So here we have the flywheel in place. 
and we did our magic number. Remember, that's the distance from here to here. From the mating edge of the adapter to the bell housing and to the back edge of the flywheel. Now, it wasn't exact, but we're very, very close. And so we're within what I would call tolerance. And so remember, that's all so that uh, this fits back into the bell housing, the same that it did when this was mounted on the internal combustion engine. And so the clutch and everything has to, to go in and come up against your throw out bearing and all that has to be just right. If it's not, you're gonna be putting, you know, pressure on things that shouldn't have pressure or you can have extra clearances so forth. So now that we know that that's correct, we can go ahead and torque down our, our uh, flywheel bolts. And once those are torqued down, we will uh, uh, mount the clutch and, uh, and torque it down. And then it's ready to go into the vehicle. Now, to torque this down, we use a flywheel lock. And this will just go on here. And this will lock it in place while we torque it down, keep this from turning. Uh, we also strap this to the workbench keeps the whole thing from twisting so like I said that's what we're going to do next the flywheel was marked remember that it was already marked we didn't have to mark it but the clutch and flywheel were marked relative to one another so that we put this back together it should still be balanced and uh, we should be good to go from installing this in the vehicle so, in our next video, we're going to uh, talk about the actual mounting of the motor in the vehicle. So, this attachment point is obvious, where we're going to mount to the <coughs> uh, belt housing. And remember, we've got our indexing pin here, and we've got uh, these two bolts, and there were two bolts here that mount this into the vehicle. But that's not supporting the motor. That's just holding the motor and the transmission together. We have to support the weight of the motor and we have to support the motor from wanting to twist under torque, under load. And so we will um, have a video that will address that and how we're going to come up with a motor mount setup that will address positioning the motor properly in there. Remember we took measurements before we removed the gasoline engine exactly where that transmission needs to be. Well, we need to replicate that. We also need to Be able to support this from you know moving and twisting and we're going to use the original shock mount motor mounts so we have to come up with something that mates to those and to our motor so that'll be uh, in one of our next videos let me go ahead and torque these down and put on the clutch and I'll cut back and give you a little shot of the, the the finished package so here's the clutch in place we haven't uh, drawn it all the way down yet and torqued it but i just wanted to show you it going in we've indexed it properly we have our alignment tool so that our friction disc is centered in there and so now we're going to carefully draw that down evenly and torque it to spec. Well, there you have it. 
clutch installed, adapter coupler installed. So next step is we'll lift it off the workbench and take it over to the vehicle and put it into the vehicle. Now when we're doing that, we've got to be careful that we get the alignment just right and everything. So this goes in, we don't put any excess pressure on the splines of the clutch or the input shaft. Um, when we do this, the transmission is going to be supported by a jack and this is going to be uh, by our hoist. And so we need to proceed with care so that we don't damage anything and then once the two are bolted together the adapter and the bell housing are bolted together then we'll just simply be supporting the, uh, the motor until we get the um, motor mounts designed, fabricated and installed. So that's what's next. That's what our next video will be on. Um, the last video was, was pretty long, so uh, we made this one a little bit shorter and just you know split this off that other video to wrap it up. And so, uh, as always, I thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please email us at info at ev4unow.com. Be glad to answer any of your questions. And I hope to see you in the next video.